<clears throat> I love the new Christian music, but I, sometimes I just love the older, older songs because those were the songs that I listened to when I was going through my problems. So I, I love, I love hearing the older songs sometimes. So tonight, as Brother Joey tried to start delivering my message, who's your hero? I won't get crunchy. I won't hold a grudge, but you know. He has Sunday mornings. I mean, come on. <laughs> We're one, brother. <laughs> so, what, what is a hero? A person who is admired or idolized for courage, outstanding achievements, or noble qualities. Often compared to like a war hero. You know, we always think of our soldiers as heroes and yes. our generals and all that. So the world identifies a hero as the following. Now, this is the world. Brave. You have to be brave. You have to be courageous. You have to be strong. You have to be successful. You have to have moral character. You got to be resilient, determined, honest, and powerful. Now, these, these are good... <laughs> these, are, these are good qualities to have. I mean, you know, these, these are not bad qualities. These are good qualities to have. But this is what the world requires of a hero. This is what the church identifies a hero as. Brave, strong, loving, moral character, compassionate, always serving others, putting others first, and humble. So when you put them side by side, there's not a lot of differences here. I mean, you see they're, they're pretty close to each other. But what we don't realize is the big difference is a church hero mirrors Jesus. Amen. Okay? Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. The world hero serves their self. Even though Good word, we have the same... Basic expectations, right? But it's where the heart is. Right. The heart of a church hero is mirroring Jesus, and the heart of a worldly hero is patting yourself on the back. You know, I did really good there. Yep. You know, you can pat this shoulder if you want. Yeah. You know. So I mean, <clears throat> how this message come about? I don't really know. I think me and Christy were sitting. I can't remember where we were at. She was, she was typing notes for Sunday morning service, and I was sitting working on this. So wow. I think, I think we were in Tennessee. I don't even remember. Hallelujah. <laughs> so I had to Google modern day heroes. <laughs> and this one comes up, and I don't even know who it is. It's a wrestler. Yeah. Okay. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. No, know nothing about it. <laughs> but this is what Google gave, gave me. So this is a worldly hero. Maybe y'all know him. Right <laughs> <laughs> so this message taught me a lot. <laughs> Uh, I know, right? <laughs> We're getting there, <that>, okay? Photoshop. <laughs> so, so then Taylor Swift pops up. Not a fan. The hot dog champ, Joey Chestnut. This man can put down some hot dogs. Yeah, that guy's amazing. If you've never watched him eat hot dogs, I'm talking, what, 80, 90 hot dogs? I mean, he can throw them down. Yes, he can, he can throw them down. Amazing man. And to be a little bit. We got these two. Now, I know the pastor always says we don't bring politics into the church. I didn't do it. God did. It's hard. Okay? It's hard. But it's hard. I tried to be fair and pick appropriate pictures for each so that you couldn't see who I stand for. <laughs> All I'm going to tell you is neither one of them are a hero. Amen. Amen. However, the world is split right now, and half of them thinks one side is a hero, and half of them thinks the other side is a hero. Amen. Yes, that's and 90% exactly and, and of the world is expecting one of these two to deliver us in the next four years. And I'm telling you, these, neither one of these two are heroes. Now, one of these guys is more in line with God than the other. Yeah. And I'm going to leave it at that. Amen. Now, me and Gary, we relate to these heroes. The 2012 National Basketball Champions. I just, I, I just want to join Brother Gary. That's our hearts, okay? <laughs> And the reason these are my heroes is I'm 51 years old. I probably watched them on TV at least 50 and a half of those years. So it was embedded into me. Probably like him also. Who is it? <laughs> so 
So this next worldly hero, I had to search really hard to find a picture for him. And this next worldly hero, I don't, I don't get close to people. I don't do, I, I didn't really think I did heroes until this message come together. And he said, yeah, UK is your hero. Because I, mean, I really didn't think I had heroes. Good word, good word. But then when he started showing me my basketball and some other things, I'm like, well, okay, maybe, maybe I do have some heroes. But then he showed me another one. Joy oh. Gray, oh. <laughs> a.k.a. Pastor. The man. The man. The legend. The legend. <laughs> my hero. <laughs> It's all Lord Jesus Christ. All, all, the the <laughs> all, the all of these, all of these that were just mentioned, have accomplished amazing things. Every one of them. Every one of them have done something that the average ordinary person typically doesn't do. Every one of them have. Even the pastor. All Holy Spirit. But and you notice this is a bigger but than what's at the top. Unfortunately, they are only worldly accomplishments. Amen. Every one of them that I had up there, nothing against, I love my pastor, Amen. but it's worldly accomplishments. Everything I've done is worldly accomplishments. Amen. Here are a few of the Bible heroes. Moses received the Ten Commandments from God, led the Israelites out of slavery into the Promised Land. David, a mighty king, battled Goliath. We all know these stories. Noah built an ark, saved his family from the flood, basically saved uh, mankind, because had, had they not lived through the flood, we would be here today. Joseph, obedient, endured slavery, became a great ruler. Abraham, strong faith, who was blessed with many descendants by God. Isaac, son of Abraham, great leader. Daniel, interpreted dreams for the king. Esther, a Jewish girl who became the queen of Persia. She risked death to plead for the lives of her people and save them from annihilation of Haman, who was a king. Mary accepted honor of being the mother of the Lord. Against all cultural beliefs, she had a virgin birth. Amen. Amen. Now, this woman could have been put to death for this. And in that culture and that time that day, rightfully so, she could have been put to death. Yes. But she chose to honor God and fulfill fulfill his wishes. So, I mean, in my eyes, that makes her a hero. Now, we're not going to go into how some religions put her right next to God. She's just a hero, okay? She's a biblical hero. <clears throat> All of these just mentioned have accomplished amazing things also. But, unfortunately, they are only worldly accomplishments also. Now, they had the Holy Spirit helping them but at the end of the day, they were still worldly accomplishments. The world and the, and the Bible heroes that I put up here, none of them died for anybody. None of them took anybody's sin. Hebrews 11, the whole chapter of Hebrews talks about faith and it talks yeah. about heroes. Yes. And I'm not going to read it all. I'm going to skim through it and, and pick out the highlights. I recommend you to go home. If you don't go home and read the Bible, go home tonight and read Hebrews 11. Amen. It's, it's about faith. Yes. It's about trusting God. You're always, how can I grow my faith? Hebrews 11. Amen. You read Hebrews 11 and it will speak to you. My main focus is going to be 32 through 40, but I'm going to hit several highlights here. Verse 1. Now, faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Now, let's read that. Faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. That's kind of hard and scary at times. Verse 3, by faith, we understand that the universe was formed by God's command. Verse 4, Abel, by faith, Abel offered God a better sacrifice than Cain did. Verse 5, by faith, Enoch was taken from this life so that he would not experience death. Verse 7, by faith, Noah, when warned about things not yet seen, not yet seen, 
in holy fear, built an ark to save his family. Amen. Now you're in the middle of the desert. It ain't never rained. You're building an ark. Preach. I'm sure your family and friends are sitting there backing you up and saying, let's, let's do this thing. Okay. The ridicule that Noah had to go through yeah. to do this. Yeah. Preach. We don't even understand. We right. think our friends and family ridicule us today. This man was a lunatic. Yep. How can the world flood when there ain't no rain? Right. But he trusted God. Amen. Verse 8. By faith, Abraham, when called to go to a place he would later receive as his inheritance, obeyed and went, even though he did not know where he was going. Kind of like us here at God's hand. We don't know where we're going, but we're going. Amen, we're going. Amen. Do work. He, by faith, he made his home in the promised land like a stranger in a foreign country. He lived in tents as did Isaac and Jacob, who were heirs with him of the same promise. For he was looking forward to the city with uh, foundations whose architect and builder is God. Uh, verse 11, by faith, Abraham even though he was past age and Sarah herself was barren, was enabled to become a father. 13, all these people were still living by faith when they died. And I, I find that kind of interesting that they took the time in the Bible to point that out, that these people were still in the faith when they died. Verse 17, by faith, Abraham, when God tested him, offered Isaac as a sacrifice. 21, by faith, Jacob, when he was dying, blessed each of Joseph's sons. 22, by faith, Joseph, when he his end was near, spoke about the exodus of the Israelites from Egypt and gave instructions about, the, about his bones. 23, by faith, Moses' parents hid him from for three months after he was born. Uh, 31, by faith, the prostitute Rahab, because she welcomed the spies, yes. was not killed with those who were disobedient. Yeah. So all of this, every verse started out with by faith. Yes, by faith. I mean, it must be pretty important that God just repeatedly, repeatedly, every verse, by faith. So verse 32, and what more shall I say? I do not have time to tell about Gideon and Barak, and Samson, and Jephthah, and David, and Samuel, and the prophets, who through faith conquered kingdoms, administered justice, gained what was promised, who shut the mouths of lions, quenched the fiery thirst of flames, and escaped the edge of the sword, whose weakness was turned to strength, and who became powerful in battle, and routed foreign armies. Women received back their dead, raised to life again. Others were tortured, and refused to be released so that they might gain a better resurrection. They refused to be released so that they could gain a better resurrection. I mean, I'm going to stand and tell you all, I don't understand that. <clears throat> I don't understand remaining a captive because I'm focused on my resurrection that I am right now to be free. Amen. That's faith. Amen. I mean, that, that is faith. That is trusting God. When you're sitting here saying, I'm going to remain a captive because I'm more worried about my resurrection. Yes, preach. I wish I could say that, but I, I don't know. It, it would be all Holy Spirit if I did. Some faced jeers and flogging, while still others were chained and put in prison. They were stoned. They were sawed in two. They were put to death by the sword. They went about in sheepskins and, and goatskin. Sheepskins and goatskins, destitute, persecuted, and mistreated. The world, the world was not worthy of them. The world was not worthy of the heroes that we just sit here and describe. That, that's favor from God. Amen. That's favor from God when the world is not worthy. You know, I, I pray that God can look down on God's hand ministry and say the world is not worthy of God's hand ministry. You know, I want that kind of favor with God. Amen. Praise God. Praise, Praise God. God. They wandered in deserts and mountains and in caves and holes in the ground. These were all commended for their faith, yet none of them received what had been promised. So they were commended for their faith, but they had not received what had been promised. But listen to this. God had planned something better. Amen. They hadn't received what they were promised because God had planned something better. Amen. 
How many times do we struggle in praying to God because we didn't get the answer we wanted? Oh, preach, really? Okay. We got the answer. It was God's plan because it was something better. Yes. Amen. Amen. It wasn't what we wanted. God had planned something better for us so that only together with us would they be made perfect. Now, I encourage you, you get time to go read Hebrews 11. Amen. There is, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but there's a lot in there for me. I could have done away with this message and just spoke on that all night. Yeah. But that's not where God took me. The secret ingredient to being a hero that I gather from Hebrews 11 the secret ingredient to being a hero is faith. Amen. Amen. You have to have faith. You can't, you can't pull off. Lord Jesus Christ. You can't pull off what's being done here without faith. Amen. Amen. Because when you get to look at our checkbook, I'm telling you, it's faith. Amen. <laughs> it's faith. <laughs> it, it's faith and Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. The whole chapter of Hebrews 11 repeatedly talks about faith. So we've listed worldly heroes and the biblical heroes. But we haven't talked about the one true hero of all time. Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus Christ. The one true hero. Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise, Praise God. God. Our hero. Jesus is the true definition of a hero. Amen. It's all him. He was born of a virgin, which no one on my, on my list was done. <laughs> he performed miracles, which no one on my list has done. He healed the sick. They didn't. He raised the dead. He died on the cross for our sins. Rose from the dead and defeated death. Amen. Now it's important that we understand. Yes, he arose from the dead, but he defeated Amen. death. Yeah. Amen. Death had him. And he defeated death. It wasn't just simply he rose from the dead. He defeated death. Because the very second he died, Satan was sitting there celebrating we won. Yeah. For what, 24 hours? He, got up. <laughs> he ascended into heaven. And this is something he has done, or is doing that no one on my list could do. He's coming back for us all. Amen. He's coming back for us all. Praise God! Praise God! That's it. Praise God. So everyone that I showed you all up there, they were great people. They, they did accomplish. They, they, they accomplished some amazing things. Thank you, Father. But none of them. None of them can do what's on this screen here. No. Right. Amen. This this is the definition of a hero. Amen. You know, this is not the church that this is the biblical definition of a hero. Of a hero. You know, because even the church definitions are different than God's definitions. Amen. Because much as I love the church, so many churches go left, they go right, they go straight forward, they go backwards, they shut down. Do y'all realize how many churches shut down during COVID and never reopened? A whole bunch. It was a bunch. Do you realize how many people stopped going to church during COVID and never went back? Yep. So yep. we can't put our faith in the church. Amen. We have to put our faith in Jesus. Amen. He's the one that can accomplish this. Amen. 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 We all look up to our heroes. We buy tickets to go see them. And some of these tickets, some of these ball games are what? Thousand dollars, two thousand dollars? I believe I go see. But I mean some of these ball games, a ticket is, is way up there. Damn. Some of these concerts, I've seen I think Taylor Swift tickets were going for four or five thousand dollars. I mean God. Good grief. But I mean, if it's your hero, you'll find the money to go see your hero. You'll let the kids starve to go see your hero. Buying posters and shirts with memorabilia. <laughs> now, see, I'm exempt because I didn't buy this shirt. It's a gift. 
So when I go before God, I ain't got an answer for nothing. Amen. However, it's bought by Christy with our money, but that's between her and God. It's a gift to me, so. so I don't got an answer for it. Watching, watching our heroes on TV. Now, this one stuck out to me because depending on who your hero is and why they're your hero, what are you watching them on TV for? Are you watching them in that movie because you know there's a five second period of nudity? That's what God showed me here. You know, we, we are making these people our heroes and then we're turning around and worshiping them and following them for the wrong reasons. Amen. 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 You know, Amen, brother. That's powerful. Telling our family and friends about them. Every time we go around our family, we're talking about our hero. Man, he scored 35 points last night in that game. I mean, he's awesome. Come on, Gary, talk to me. <laughs> Let's talk about it. I mean, what did Reed Shepard do just last week in the, in the NBA? You know, but that, I mean, that's, that's what we do. And I'm not picking on Gary, but me and Gary understand each other when it comes to you guys. Yeah, yeah. He's pleading the fifth. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad he's here, Mike. Like, I got somebody stand inside. Praise God. <laughs> we, we start dressing like them. We start dressing like them, okay? Sometimes we even change what we believe just to be like them. Now, guys, this is scary. Yep. And I'm not talking non believers. I'm talking believers. We change what we believe to be like our heroes. So if you're going to do that, you better make sure you got the right hero. Amen. I mean, Amen. you better be changing for the right hero. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So how can I tell who my hero truly is? And I know y'all are sitting here thinking, man, he's really done good tonight. He ain't been mean. He ain't been rude. He ain't got on our toes. We don't need our hard hats. Look out. Well, look out. Here we go. He ain't done yet. As I like to say, whoop de doo So how can I tell who my hero truly is? Ask yourself these questions. Who does your checkbook say your hero is? That's a real personal question. Bless you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Who does your TV say your hero is? <laughs> Who does your social media say your hero is? So if I were to walk out here right now and grab your phone and log into your Facebook, how tight would your butt cheeks get? Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, be flipping diamonds. We got one up here cracking, but I'm, 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 hey, I'm just being honest, okay? I, I am talking, I'm talking about myself here, okay? This was me for many, many years. You don't care to show your social media to certain people, but is everyone allowed to see it? Good word. If you read, what are you reading? What is your leisure time spent on? Ooh, that's powerful. Because I'm going to tell you, your leisure time, you're thinking about something. Yeah, yeah, I know I am. I, I don't go. If I'm awake, right. I'm thinking. Yeah. Right. Amen. So I'm thinking, what am I thinking about? But if I'm awake, I'm thinking. Yeah, there's something going on. Who do you talk about when you are with your friends? Good word. What friends? What friend? <laughs> <laughs> I'm right there with you, buddy. <laughs> so so as, as hard as those questions was, I've got a better question for you. If I ask your spouse, who would they say your hero is? What about your children? Who would they say your hero is? Kentucky basketball. <laughs> There's always one. There's always one that you don't want to talk about. I was waiting for it. Yeah, you were waiting for it. Because <laughs> even the older kids, but the young kids, the young kids will tell the truth. I mean, they don't know how not to. Exactly. They, They'll tell it. I guess I never grew up. <laughs> <laughs> Who will your friends say your hero is? You know, one thing I've learned in my relationship with God, Come I can stand here and lie all day long. Yeah. Yeah. But you go asking the right people, and they'll tell you who I am, what I stand for, and who yeah. I worship. Amen. 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 
And that was convicting for me. And I'm talking, I'm talking after being saved, okay? I'm talking years after being saved. This was very convicting for me. Because yes, I had the relationship with God. Yes, I knew who my Savior was. Yes, I knew where I was going. But I thank God he didn't take me then. Because I had a whole lot to answer for. Amen. That would have been a tough conversation to have in front of God. Amen. And I pray, I praise God that he has left me here long enough to halfway get it almost right. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. you know, Amen. I mean, I'm, I'm being th these are stuff that I have personally dealt with. Yeah. God just tells me to share it with you all. If y'all get mad, get mad at God. Yeah. The big question tonight, who is your hero? Are you trying to be like your hero? Yes, Lord. So we, we've established that we're all trying to be like our hero. Amen. Are we trying to be like the right hero? Amen. If we dedicated as much time on God as we do the things of this world, can you imagine how great this world could be? God. Amen. I mean, oh, I, I, absolutely. You know, if we, if we we poured our heart and soul into focusing on God, how much of a change could we make? Mm -hmm. Now, on the flip side of that, we'd be considered lunatics because we already are. You know, we're, I mean, we're, lab we're labeled as lunatics. Whether y'all aware of this or not, depending on where you go in Marion County, we're crazy. Yeah. Amen. You know, we're crazy. But Welcome home. Amen. <laughs> but if we dedicated our, our lives to serving God, Hallelujah. Can you imagine how many people would receive Christ? Amen. Because I, mean, I went through that spell where I was, I'm not going to say ashamed, I was scared. I was scared to share my Christianity. I was scared to share my faith for fear of being judged, kicked out of the group, made fun of, embarrassed. I went through all that. As pastor likes to say now, I have no feelings, so I don't care. <laughs> but, <laughs> Praise God! Praise God! <laughs> but I went, I mean, I went for many years. I'm sorry, y'all, my allergies are driving me nuts tonight. I rebuke that. <laughs> Please do. Please do. Amen. <laughs> But, <laughs> but like I was saying, I spent many, many years. I was saved. I talked to God on a daily basis, but I didn't tell no one else about it. Out of fear of rejection, ridicule, being made fun of. And thank God he delivered me from that as well. Hallelujah. Uh, I think sometimes he delivered me a little bit too much. <laughs> but, Never <did. laughs> but it happened. <laughs> Jesus is the only true hero. Yes, Father. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Praise, Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, Jesus is the only one. That can fulfill the biblical commitments yeah, of being yeah. a hero. Only one. Amen. The only one. Only one. And, and you know, we had a picture of her of an awesome looking guy. I mean, he's a pastor. He's a hero. We all love him. But only Jesus only can Jesus. fulfill this. Amen. 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 All only Jesus. Jesus can do this. Amen. Amen. All of him. The minute, the minute I start putting my faith in him. No, rebuke yeah. that. Not only have I gone astray, but I will pull him with me. Amen. Amen. I will I will drag him with me. Come on. I don't care how strong his faith is because I've lashed on to him yeah, no. and set him up for failure. Yeah. Right. Amen. I have to serve him. Amen. Amen. I have to serve I have to serve Jesus Christ. Praise God! Praise, Praise God. God. Now if I'm serving Jesus Christ and my worldly hero is serving Jesus Christ, we can't go wrong. Amen. 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 But, but the second I get it this way or that way, if it's not here, That's it's right. wrong. That's right. Come on, it's Bassett. wrong. And if I don't have it here, yep. I'm creating a problem for him. Yes. Amen. So, oh gosh, it's so good. when you sit and look at this message tonight, you need to ask yourself, and you need to go home and, and look at the checkbook. Look at your TV. Look at your social media. Look at all the things that you don't want to share with no one else. And, and truly evaluate. I know you sit here and tell me Jesus is your hero. 
But I would love to believe that every time a person walks in the church door, that they are what they say they are. Amen. Yeah, yeah. But I've been a Christian for many years. I wasn't who I said I was. Right. So don't try to fool me into thinking that you're who you say you are. Yes. Amen. I'm standing here admitting I wasn't the Christian that I was supposed to be. I wasn't an example of a Christian. I was everything that you didn't want to be in a Christian body. Yes. I was saved. Yes, same here, brother. You can be saved and still get it all wrong and still screw it all up. Because yeah. I did. I did. Uh, I was good at that. You need to make sure that Jesus is your hero. Amen. Amen. That's what we worship. Hallelujah. Amen. Beautiful picture. That's our hero. Amen. Hallelujah. I mean, for crying out loud, he's walking on water. Amen. 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 <laughs> Who else can do that? <laughs> That's right. So, who's your hero tonight? Amen. Amen. Brother Joey. Hallelujah. Amen. Woo!